fighting today and um, my weapon of choice is a Ford van. Nah, it's not really. I'm just about to go do my sighting laps. It's just easier than unloading and getting the kit car ready straight after briefing. Go out and do some laps in a, a van for the um, little parade laps where you kind of work out what's going on. And it's quite funny because then you get a photo of yourself driving a, a van on a racetrack and who doesn't want that? Everyone wants that. That's great. Look like a bit of a tool, but what's new? <laughs> so here today to kind of bed myself back in after um, Kerbera really. Kerbera went really well. It was very fun up until a point where I bent the car. Then it um, got considerably less fun and more expensive. What I will say though is MK have been fantastic with me. They um, after it happened, happened on a Saturday or a Sunday, it was fixed within a week. I went off, I dropped it off with them, uh, and I, then I went to Nürburgring for a week, and they literally took care of it. It took them a few days, and uh, they've strengthened the chassis a bit more now as well for next time. Uh, I don't really want to say that, but you know what I mean. So, sighting lap's done. Um, so quiet, so quiet here today. It's gonna be fantastic, and it's so bloody hot to be wearing this silly onesie. <laughs>
through the afternoon and you can hear that. That's an empty racetrack. So it looks like for the last two hours of the day, I'm lapping on my own. More World Cups, please. So they're all packed up and it's been an awesome day. Tell you what, Jesus Christ is that one capable car now. It's absolutely stonking. The, the MK showed me what I had um, forgotten it could do. It's, it's absolutely telepathic and it's stonking, stonkingly quick uh, in every which way. The braking is ferocious, acceleration is pretty badass and um, the way it changes direction is just magic and and I'd kind of forgotten I'd kind of forgotten because the last few events I've done have actually been Kerberas so you don't really get up to speed and I've been using very thin um, road tires to try and dance it about a bit and um, generate heat quicker um, being the nature of sprinting uh, so to get on some proper slicks that I have to warm up and uh, really get some pace on on a faster track <laughs> Shit, okay fair enough I feel very lucky to have have the kit car again, which is exactly what I needed uh, to feel to realize uh, How great it is and uh, how privileged I am to be able to go and use a car of that kind of caliber and um, it's far, far, far better than I am, um, which I guess is a great thing, really, because it means that it's um, going to teach me a lot as I book more and more track days. I actually do think it's, it could do with being a bit stiffer. Maybe I should run the anti-roll bars I've got for it now. I'm running the slick tyres. Probably do a few more little test sessions and stuff and, and see, see how it feels. You know, I, I'd love to now go to... Alton and Anglesey um, before the summer kind of disappears. But yeah, hey, it's been fantastic, and the car again. Thank, thank fuck it, thank fuck it showed me what it's all about. Because I've been really considering sacking it off, thinking the MX-5 can do everything I needed to. All in all, goodbye, Blighton Park, and thank you very much, Javelin Track Days. <laughs>